Is Vegas kind of a representation of the American dream, yes or no? Do you know that more money, more cash changes hands here in this state than any other state in the United States? More cash changes hands. Hopefully it comes in the right direction. Now, is there risk in going out here and sitting down at the blackjack table, yes or no? Yes, is there also risk in your business, yes or no? Yes, in fact, do you know that according to the SBA statistics that you have a better chance of putting money down on the red or black in roulette than you have on succeeding in business after four years. Scary, huh? Would you like to know how to mitigate that? Yes, you have a 56% chance of failing in business in the first four years. So we're gonna share with you some of the ways that you can mitigate some of that risk. One of my beliefs is that uh, those people who are prepared, we talk about a lot, what you practice in private, you're rewarded for in public. And this weekend is all about practicing, it's preparing yourself, it's putting yourself in the right mindset. But even before we go there, how many of you have already, have ever played blackjack in your life? Show of hands. Okay, so you have a pretty good idea what the rules are, yes? If you have a 10 and a 6, you have a total value of 16 in your cards, and the dealer has a 10, what do you do? How many of you say you stand? Hands up nice and high? Great, how many of you say you would hit? Great, how many would freeze not know what to do? <laughs> Thanks for being honest. Now here's what's interesting. Regardless of your decision, you lose a majority of those hands. If you hit it, you win 26% of the time, but you lose 74%. If you stand, you win 24%, but you lose 76%. So the correct decision is to hit that hand, even though you know a majority of the time you're gonna lose. How many of you ever feel like that in your business sometimes? Regardless of what you do, you're gonna lose. Yeah, don't put your hand up too high. <laughs> Same odds in business, though. Sometimes you make the correct decision, and it seems like a small amount of growth. It's moving in the right direction, but you're not, you're not always rewarded for it. But you gotta stay the course. If you have an ace and a six, and the dealer has a six. How many stand? How many hit? If you didn't do that, what else could you do? How many double down? How many split? Good, you just passed our drug test. <laughs> hey, Bill. Here's what's interesting. If you have an ace and a six, and the dealer has a six, you double down two through six, two through, or three through six, stand two, seven, or eight, otherwise hit. Now, why would I know that? It's important to know that if you live here. <laughs> it's important to prepare just like your business. How many people, however, come to Las Vegas, sit down at the tables, they buy an expensive ticket to get here, they have a $300 room, they go to a $65 buffet, they sit down at the table and have no idea what they're doing? How many of you fall into that category? <laughs> yeah, how many of you also fall into that category with your business? Sometimes we think we know what we're doing, we, do the, we think we're doing the right things, but sometimes we aren't always prepared to do the right things.